I guess what I'm going to do is put something in here to make that filter sweep happen a little more. Oh well, just automatically happen when I um, press a button or something. So I'm going to use something called function to create that sweep in here. Uh, if we look uh, in the palette, the function object, I've kind of lost it for a second, it's right here. It looks like uh, two lines with a dot on the top, a pink dot. Uh, get one of those function objects. And since we're going to use this function um, with a line output, and I'm going to actually scale that line output as MIDI. We're going to want to change the range of this function to something that would be useful as MIDI values. Uh, all of the graphic objects, if you select the object as I have here and hit Command I or Control I if you're on a PC, um, it brings up something called the Inspector. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the Inspector has. Uh, the options to change a lot of features about the way the thing looks and about uh, all sorts of things about it. Uh, the thing that I'm interested in is this here where it says uh, low and high display range. That's what I'm at the moment. By default it's 0 to 1 which in terms of MIDI values um, produces uh, very low frequencies. Uh, let's try changing that high low low high display range to 20 to let's say a hundred um, and later on so that's the low is 20 which in MIDI terms is kind of low note and a hundred which is kind of a high note and this here you might want to change that later that's the y-axis um, display range so that will be time in the way we're using it so there's the function inspector. We've changed the high, low and high display ranges to 20 and 100. Okay. Uh, yeah. Scrolling over these outlets, um, we can see each one of these puts out something different. But um, we're going to put out this function value as all points in line format. Um, meaning to say, I'm going to run that through a line object, line tilde. So again, I'll make a new object called line tilde, and connecting that second outlet of function to the left inlet of line tilde. And like I said, I'm going to use MIDI values. We've already seen how to change regular values or regular numbers into MIDI um, or into fre sorry MIDI into frequency. I'm going to do the same thing um, this time with a signal. So new object and M2F which is MIDI to frequency with a tilde on the end because that's what we're doing uh, we're actually using this signal here as a MIDI value in signal terms we're going to want to connect the outlet of that uh, M2F tilde here because we want to control this frequency value we're going to connect the M2F tilde to the center or middle inlet of low res. And a couple more things. We want a button here, like it says here, function bang outputs all. And as we've seen, the button is an excellent way of producing bangs. So we have B for bang, B for button. If you just don't want to bring up the palette, uh, you can connect that in there. Alright. So we're going to draw some kind of, you just click on this function thing with the patcher locked and you can draw this shape or any shape you wish and turn this thing on again here it's humming away and now we get to hear the shape played back when we click the button All right, I'll just make a different shape for the fun of it Okay. So there's just a quick way of um, making some kind of envelope, as it might be called, like a breakpoint envelope is a sort of fancy way of saying it. And I guess just to make one final change to this uh, synthesizer to make it even slightly more interesting or more useful, maybe we want to have the amplitude, instead of just staying on all the time, so we hear that hum, 
maybe we want to have it turn on and off by um, when we click this button it turns on and when this thing gets to the end of its trajectory then it turns off. To do that I'm going to use a send so I'm going to make a new object and call it S is short for send. Um, send whatever you like doesn't matter I'll, I'll call it on off. Um, it's just a unique name that something called R well actually we can just create that. Let me just if you just duplicate this send by either holding down the option key on a Mac or Alt key on a PC and dragging that'll duplicate it and I can put an R on off. What we're interested in is sending something from here to here. It's exactly the same as connecting a patch cord, uh, one of these kinds of patch cords, except it's just a way of making it, making your patcher a little bit neater. So I'm going to send something to this receive here. And first, uh, from this button, I guess I want to send it at some kind of positive amplitude or not zero amplitude. So I'll make a message, just clicking the M key on my keyboard to make a message. And I'll give it a 0.2 from the button click. So when I click that button, it's going to send the value 0 0.2 to this uh, through this send over to here. And the next thing to turn it off, I could actually just select those two objects together and duplicate that. When this line gets, as it says here, as you can almost read the rest of it, um, line um, bang when line reaches destination. So when the line reaches its destination, i.e. it's come to the end of the envelope, then we can have this bang here produce the output from this message with the zero value on it. So the zero will turn the amplitude off. Right, so let's give that a shot. Turn on the DAC and hit that button and yes, all of a sudden now it's doing its little envelope thing with, and, turning it, and turning it off in between. You're probably getting a couple of clicks. Anytime um, you're getting clicks because of turning amplitudes on and off suddenly, the best thing to do is just to stick them through a line. So if I disconnect that receive there, I'll connect, uh, let's make a, the, the pack object is what we used before. So a pack with a zero, with a, with a point, don't forget um, to put the point after the zero because floats and integers are different. And we're going to give it, doesn't matter, some very short value, like 10 milliseconds to go um, to ramp up and down through a line tilde. Make my life easier, I'm just going to uh, hold Option on my keyboard or Alt if I'm on a PC and drag that line tilde. I just want one of those. And I'll connect up the line tilde to the multiply tilde. And now we should be producing a signal ramp with these values instead of just going straight to them. That's the easy way to get rid of clicks. So we have a click-free um, synthesizer thingy, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.